All right, we're back for another quick fix and tip for Unreal. So one problem I have with Unreal is when you manipulate objects, which we will do right now. Let's create a door. But first, let's talk about the solution. Fixing a pivot point or the problem. So this is my bridge. And as we can see, it rotates nicely right where I'd want a bridge to rotate. How awesome is that? So many times when you create a door, so let's do that right now. Let's just copy my wall, copy, paste, and resize my door. Well, actually, this is what I should do. Let's see. Let's resize it this way. This will mess it up. Go to my geometry editing, grab this face, move the face over here, move this face over here, go back. Oh, wait a minute, my pivot point is now. Well, actually, I just moved it perfectly. Let's completely mess it up and do this. And now I'm getting the dreaded overlap. Let's just be smart about this. Grab the face. I was moving it nice and evenly, so it stayed in the middle. Let's do this. And actually, I don't need it in the middle. Anyway, it would have been broken. I need it to, my pivot point to be on the door on a hinge. So that looks good. Bring it down. Bring it down just a tad more. And it looks like a huge door, but that's okay. So let's, we need two of these. We need one that's positive and one that's negative. The first one should be negative, as in subtractive. And then copy, paste. The next one should be additive. Okay, now I have a door. So what I want to do is just have an animation rotate my door like a door and that is not the door I want to have I need it on a hinge right here where a door hinge would be so this is how I'm going to cheat it I'm going to create an object and attach them and it's going to rotate off of the last object so let's create what should we do Let's create a cylinder. Let's make it like a real hinge. We have a cylinder. Oops, this is a static mesh. Let's create a cylinder. Doesn't matter how big it is. Let's move it into position. Lost my cylinder. Looking pretty close to where the hinge would be. And I will put it somewhere near the middle. And now when it rotates out, it should behave like a door if this is where my pivot point is. So we'll grab this. This is my subtractive. So, door subtractive, just so I can find things better here. So I'm going to select <clears throat> my additive door brush and second I'm going to select my hinge. Now notice how the last object selected the pivot point is on that object which 
it's probably going to go through the wall. So let's move my, actually it's going to go through the wall anyway. This is not going to be a perfect test. We're just showing you how to get a door to, and as you notice, that by selecting the door last, the pivot point was on the door, which was out of place. There we go. Create static mesh. Static mesh. SM door. There we go. Now we have a static mesh of a door. And let's see if it's in place. Still in the right place. Whoops, gotta put my my uh, hole back. Or subtract a brush. We'll just do a quick guesstimate there. And yes, we have a hole in the wall again. All right, so let's animate my br my door. There we go. Got the door. Well, actually, I don't need to animate the door. All we need to show is how to how to fix the pivot. So we got this. Now we rotate it. It's a door. Ta-da! That's your fix. So instead of bringing it back into Maya and having to reset the pivot, reset the transforms, uh, delete the history and all that stuff, you can do this and this will solve the problem. Alright, I hope that helps a quick fix for you. And I will see you on my next quick fix tip. Bye-bye.